to another video. Today I will be showing you how to make your own Instagram GIFs on the Procreate app. I'll be showing you how I prepare my design, animate it, export it and then upload it to Giphy. It's super simple and even if you don't have a Giphy account, I'll show you how you can still add your GIFs in your Instagram stories, so make sure you watch till the end. Let's get started! Alright, so the first thing we need to do is to prepare our sketch. So what I'm going to do here is create a new canvas and I'm going to make my canvas the big square, so 2048 pixel by 2048 pixels. So you want your GIF to be quite big, but not too big, so you can still have a lot of layers. Um, you will need a lot of layers when you animate later. So I think this size works really well and you'll have a good quality design and you'll still be able to have a good amount of layers. So let's go ahead and create our square. Okay, so this is my refined artwork. What I've done here is use a monoline brush. So I've been using the sharp line for my lettering brush set, which is available for free on my website. I'll make sure to link it down below. This works really well because it will have a clean edge and it will definitely work better as a gift. So you want to avoid having too many tiny details and also very thin lines. So I think this will still be very detailed and still has a couple of sharp lines here. So what I'm gonna do is create a three-dimensional effect so that the letters look a bit more bold and the artwork is not so thin. All right, so this is my final artwork. You wanna keep every single element in your design on a separate layer. So you can see this is the dimensional effect, that's the red, this is the pink, this is the main artwork, white and the little stars on the outside are on a separate layer as well. Again, remember with your design, make sure to use a monoline brush, make your design bold and avoid too many thin lines, small details and try to use flat colors as well. Don't forget to keep all of your design element on a separate layer. Once you've done that, you're ready to then animate your GIF. Okay, so the next step is to turn on the animation assist. So if you go to your action button, canvas, animation assist, you will see that it brings up this little window down the bottom where you can see all of your layers. So as you can see, each layer is one frame. So you can see my background, the red, the pink, the white, and these are the stars. The only thing you need to remember with this animation assist on Procreate is that one frame equals one layer. Or one frame can also equal one group of layers. And this is what we want here. We want to have a group of layers represent one frame. So let's go ahead and simply group our design elements. So I'm just gonna select all of them and group them. So you can see it has now created one frame. So in this video, I'm going to try and show you three different ways of animating your design. One of the easiest one I would say is to just change the color of an object. So one frame could be pink and another frame would be a red, for example, and it will kind of switch between the two and it will create some sort of animation. So it's super simple, super easy, um, and that's one type of animation you can do. You can also decide to rotate an object. So you can, for example, move it a little bit to the left and then to the right, and then once you animate it, it kind of gives this motion effect. Then I'm going to show you how to create those animated little stars where you pretty much just create three different frames where the star just grows bigger and then disappear and it just creates that very cool twinkle effect. So let's go ahead and play with those now. So what I'm going to do first of all is just get rid of the background because you guys don't need the background at all to create a GIF. So this is my frame number one. So what I need now to create a frame number two is duplicate my group. What I'm gonna do now is modify the layers in this group. So my idea is to have 
this dimensional effect kind of change colors and I didn't want to kind of just reverse the colors I wanted to create this effect where the red is kind of moving up let's say for example we're going to start with a full pink dimensional effect the red is coming up and then it's going to go fully red and then it will keep going like that so you'll see in a minute what I mean by that so what I want to do is keep that second layer exactly like that and I want to modify the first uh, frame so what I'm going to do is make everything pink now I can go ahead and create my third group my third frame so I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to make it all red and you'll see what it looks like So now that my three groups are different, I can press play and just have a look at what it does. As you can see, it's going really, really fast. So this is where you can adjust the speed and the looping of your animation. So all you need to do is tap on the settings button and you'll see that you can either make it loop, ping pong, one shot. The best is to just play with it and kind of just see what it does to your animation. I'm gonna keep mine on loop, but what I wanna do is reduce the amount of frame per second. And I'm gonna try four and see what it looks like. See, this is already better. And you can see the effect I was going for. So it starts with pink and the red is slowly coming up and it gives this very cool uh, twinkle effect. And this is it. This is all you need to do to create some animation. The next thing I wanna do is animate those stars as well. So I'm just gonna pose it for now and just go back to my first frame. So I'm gonna keep all of the stars exactly like that I'm not going to change them so these can stay what I want to do is actually change the stars on the second frame so in the second group so what I like to do is just create a new layer just on top of those stars and I'm gonna grab my brush and just draw them slightly bigger so I'm also hiding um, the top frame just because I want to be able to see underneath just the second frame okay so now I have uh, my three stars that are three different sizes so I can go ahead and just press play and that's it so there's um, a lot of different ways you can do it I will recommend playing with different styles and just adding more stars and just making them different sizes you can also add a frame where it kind of just disappears so there is nothing and it gives this really cool um twinkling effect and this is what it looks like all together so i wanted to show you guys another example of animation that i like to use in my design so it is what i call the wiggly effect and it's so simple to do and i think it just looks really awesome so what i'm gonna do pretty much is just redraw the text and instead of having the wave exactly in the same place i'm just gonna kind of move them a little bit and make it slightly different and you'll see that it kind of gives this illusion of movement which is awesome so all you need to do, very simple, you just redraw on top of your layer. And I'm going to do that for the rest of the world. Okay, so once you're done and you have all of your three layers slightly different, you can just press play and have a look. And this is the effect it creates. Another thing I want to do, and it's a very simple way to animate your design, is to just rotate an object to the side. So all I have to do with this one is very simple. You just um, select your artwork and move it to the side. I'm going to do that three times in total and move the third one a little bit more. And let's have a look at what it looks like. Cool! So it just really gives life to your design and it's so simple. And I've done exactly the same for the tail. And this is what the whole design looks like. 
And voila, once your design is ready, all you have to do now is export it as a GIF and then upload it to Giphy. To export as a GIF, all you need to do is tap on your action buttons. You're gonna click share and you are sharing your design as an animated GIF. Just click export and just export it either to your phone or to your desktop. You can also save it to your device, depending on what you prefer. So I'm gonna export mine and save it to my device. So in order to upload your GIFs to Giphy and have an item available in your Instagram stories, there are a couple of simple steps you need to follow. First of all, you need to create an account on Giphy.com. I've linked the Giphy website in the description below. You just create your account right there. Once you've created your account, you are going to need to apply for an artist channel. I have also linked it in the description below, so if you cannot find where to apply for an artist channel, it's all in the description. There are a couple of things you need to know before applying for an artist channel, uh, mainly that your Instagram account needs to have a website with the same name and a Facebook page and an email address all under the same brand account. So it could take a couple of days to get approved but if you meet all of the requirements you will have no problem applying for an artist channel the next step is to just wait for approval once approved you can then upload your gifs and it looks something like this so you will just click on browse your files and that's where you just select the gif you've just exported so once you go browse your files you can go from your photo library and just import your GIF. This is what it's going to look like. And from here, it's super simple. You need to enter a source URL. So it will be your website, for example. Uh, enter a couple of tags. So mine will be, let's say, Christmas, Dash Hound, Snow, Snowflakes, um, and my name, Aurelie Marin, so that people can find my GIFs. Make sure the rating is correct and then all you have to do is upload to Giphy. And this is absolutely all you need to do guys. It will take a couple of days to appear in the Instagram app. So just be patient. Also, you probably see that your GIFs look slightly pixelated and this is normal because Giphy always does that and always resizes the GIF. They have to be very small, so they will probably look different when you upload them, which is a little bit annoying, but there are a couple of things you can do to make sure they are the best quality possible. I have also linked the Giphy's best practices for GIF creation, so check out this link as well. And of course, guys, if you do not have an artist channel, for example, you don't have a website, you don't have an Instagram page with uh, all of your work, you're not a, an official artist, so you can still upload your GIF to your own Instagram stories. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. So same thing here, once I have finished my GIF, I'm gonna export it and airdrop it to my phone. So you can see it here in my pictures. And it is GIF and it's moving. Then all you have to do is create a new story. And instead of adding a GIF, you're just gonna go back into your photos Click the share button, go copy photo, and then go back to the app. Here it will ask you to add a sticker, just click on it, and there you have your GIF in your stories. And that is it guys, I hope this was helpful and I hope that it will inspire you to make your own GIF as well. If you do make some, please tag me so I can share them. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to follow along, make sure to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to better your lettering skills and learn more with me, make sure to check out my online courses, 3D Letters Masterclass and Chalk Lettering Masterclass. I have linked them in the description below, so make sure to check them out. I'll see you guys in the next video.